Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Natsu from Fairy Tale. So we're going to start on the right eye on the inside. So let's start with the eyebrow. We put a dot in the center of the eyebrow or the inside edge of the eyebrow and draw an angled line up. From here, I'm going to take this point and draw an angle in the opposite direction. From here, let's go up and then swoop down to taper out that line. And we're going to color this in black. This is for the upper eyebrow on the right side. And here, I'm just going to draw a swoop down and then an angle going up. This is for the wrinkle in between the eyes. Let's go up into the upper eyelid. Now here, I'm just going to draw a curve, a very short curve that comes down from the front part of the eye. And then here, I'm just going to go straight across, just below that eyebrow. And here, I'm just going to thicken this up. As I go out to the outside, it gets a little bit thicker. And then from this point, I'm going to go straight down in an angle and then thicken that up as well. Underneath here, I'm going to draw the bottom part of the eyelid. So starting here, I'm just going to do a small little curve that goes up. And there's a gap opening here and at the front. And then just at the top here, I'm going to draw a very long pupil. It kind of looks like that. Now on the top right side here, I'm just going to draw a circle for the highlight and then color in the eye black. Let's move over to the left side here. And just on this inner edge here, I'm going to draw a little line down in an angle. And from this point, I'm going to draw a curve, a slight curve going to the left side. And then I'm going to thicken up the inside edge of that eyebrow. Kind of like that, so it gets thinner as it goes out. From here, I'm going to draw a line that goes out this way, sort of in the same angle as this, a straight line like that. And as I come up to the outside here, I'm just going to thicken that up, and it gets thinner as it gets in towards the center of the eye, so it gets thicker over here. And then from this point, I'm just going to draw a short angle line down, and then thicken up that edge on this side, just like I did on this side here. Now the same sort of thing, I'm going to draw a short upward curve along the bottom and then I'm going to draw a short little line on the inside edge for the eye. And again, like what I did here, I'm going to draw sort of an elongated pupil, kind of like that. Right, you want to make sure that you got the right, the same size for both eyes. And then I'm going to draw that circle for the highlight again and color this eye in black like that. Alright, let's go to the nose. So here, it's got a very high nose and it's just basically two lines. So if I look at the center, I'm going to go to the left side and I'm going to draw a short little swipe in an angle. And I want to make sure that that top edge is a little bit thicker and it tapers off to a very sharp point. And on the right side here, I'm going to draw the smallest little line, a very short line. Okay, let's get down to the mouth. So he's got a pretty big grin. So I'm going to start over here, the center of this eye, and then come down. And from this point, I'm going to draw a line straight across. And then as I get up towards this eye line here, I'm going to curve up. So it's kind of wider on this side. Over here, I'm just going to do an inner curve. So it kind of curves in this way. I'm going to come down and swoop around and then connect it to that outer part of the mouth right there. And along this side, I'm not going to draw the teeth, but he's actually got a couple of squiggles like this. And over here, I'm just going to draw a diagonal line and color this side in black. And then I'm going to draw just a curve, an upward curve like that for the teeth. Under the mouth here, I've just got a little short curve just to indicate the bottom lip. Now let's get into the chin. So here, his chin is very shallow, so I'm just going to draw just a, a short little line like this, just so I can use it as a guide to draw the rest of the face in. So right about here, the sides of the temples, I'm going to come down in a curve, just around the face, and I'm going to connect that to that chin. So I'm going to slowly come in and try to connect to that chin like that. Let's do the same thing on this side. I'm going to come down in a curve, so it gets tapered in as it comes towards the jaw, and I connect this with that chin like so. Now let's go up to the top of the head here. So he's got a pretty big forehead. He's got a little piece of hair that sticks up and then the rest of the hair kind of falls down on the side. So let's go up to where that 
part of the center of the head would be right about here. And I'm going to draw three little hash marks. Right? This is to show like the hairline. Let's go to the right, left side here. And I'm going to draw a curve that goes up. And I'm going to kind of curve that line back to the other side here. Let's draw one more little hash mark there. And then here on the top, I'm just going to draw a little strand of hair. From this point, I'm going to go across the head onto the outside of the head here. So just kind of coming across with a, with a curve and tidy up that side of the face there. And from here, I'm going to taper out. Right? Let's go to this side. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap here and draw a curve in towards that eye. I'm going to curve back up and kind of fade it out like that. On this side, I'm just going to overlap and do a curve that comes over that eyebrow, kind of like that. So now I can go in and finish that eyebrow, make sure that it goes and touches that hairline. And from this point, I'm going to go back up. Now I can finish off the side of the face here. And from this point, I'm going to curve out just to show more hair. And then curve that back up, kind of like that. Actually, I'm going to make that a little bit longer, kind of like that. Let's go back to this side. So I'm going to go left and right just to make sure I'm getting a good balance of hair. So here I'm going to do an overlap and come down and then curve this around like so. So now that if I look back, I've got an even distribution of hair going on here. So up here, I'm going to draw some more hair. So I'm going to start spread, spreading the hair out around his head. So here I've got a spike of hair. I come back in and draw a line through it. All right. From here, I'm going to draw a curve up, and I'm going to curve that down in towards that hair spike, and then draw another line through that. Now here, it gets a little bit tricky, so I'm going to go in an angle, and then I'm going to sort of change directions out. This is the biggest tuft of hair on the top of his head, and I'm going to bring that down, and again, drawing a line through that, and then just balancing things out. I'm going to draw some more hair up here. so. Let's do an overlap here. So coming in, and go out, and I come down, drawing a little bit of a line there. Now here, let's see, go out, and then in, and draw a line through that. Now here I can just finish off the side of his head with a curved up line, and back in. Here I'm going to draw a line out, and back in, and here I'm going to draw a line out. Tuck that back in. Now he's got an ear, which I'm sort of forgetting about, but I'm just going to draw a curve like that. And draw the line in like that for some detail inside the ear. Let's draw a little spike out behind that ear there. Let's go back up to the top. So now that I know how far the hair is sticking up from the side of his head, I don't want to go past this point here. So I'll just kind of make a mental note that this is the side of his head that I want to go out to. So I'm going to draw some more hair, come out like this, draw a spike of hair like that, and I'll change directions and go up, curl back in, go out, curl back in, and now I can do an overlap here, another spike of hair, come back in, and then do a series of hairs along here. So again, I'm going to almost forget the ear here, so I'm going to look at the bottom of this line here on the ear, go down here and draw a curve around. Right. Now I can draw another tuft of hair coming out, and then I'll draw one more, maybe one tinier one on the side there. And then from here, I can just there in some more hair. So here's another tuft of hair. Let's go a little bit of an overlap here. Come in like so. And here I'll do, I'll change directions. I'll go up and tuck that in behind that hair there. And there we have it. So there's the hair. Let's go down to the body now. So the neck area, he's got a big scarf that kind of crosses underneath his chin. So starting on this side, I'm going to make a point here. I want to cross close to the chin and then come back up this way. So I'm going to come down. And then from here, I'm going to swoop up and kind of do this. Okay, so it comes up and then the opposite direction. From here, so if I look at the eyes, I'm going to draw a straight line down. On this side, I'll draw a straight line down for his neck. Let's go up here and draw a downward curve on the same side. Opposite side, I'll do the same thing. And I'll come in on an angle on both sides. 
but do an overlap. So on this side, I'm going to overlap, come down, and then up, and cross that line. And then again, I'm going to come up a bit, and draw two angled lines out. And from here, I'm just going to swoop outwards like that. And from here, now I can draw the lower part of the scarf. So I'm going to come down, and swoop up, and connect to that point there. And then, over here on this side, I'm just going to draw an extra bit of of fabric that kind of gets tucked underneath. So again, I'm going to come out like this and then tuck that in underneath around the middle of the scarf. And then again, I'll just draw two long lines for this scarf detail. Here, I'm just going to draw two lines just to indicate the shoulder. Now, that's probably as far as I'm going to draw for the body. But for the scarf, he's got some detail in the scarf. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So in the center here, I'm going to draw a line straight down the middle. On the side here, I'm going to draw a bit of a curve on either side. So you can see that I'm curving this way, and on this side I'm curving that way. And then I'm going to split that in half. So between here and here, I'll find the center and draw a line down. And then from here, I'm just going to find the center between here and here and draw a line across, kind of come up and tuck that in like that. In the inside of the scarf, I'm going to draw a line down, and down, here I'll go down, and down. So you can see I'm curving this way on the inside of the scarf. And then here, I'm just going to reverse that curve. I'm going to make that a little bit thicker there. And kind of wrap that around the back of the scarf. Let's go to this front part of the scarf here. So I'm going to offset, so I don't want to line up with this line. I'm going to put it to the left side a little bit and go straight down. Again, let's go over here. I'm going to draw a line, and I'm sort of following the contour of that outer line. So I'll curve out this way. Now, because this is a bigger piece, I might want to split this up in... Well, maybe not. Okay, let's draw this and cut it into halves, like that. And then here, again, I'm just going to cut the center part here in half. So I'm finding the halfway point and just drawing a line through it. On this bottom piece, I'm just going to sort of eyeball where the separation would be here. And then along this long part, I'll draw three lines, or two lines. So one down here, along here, and then I'm curving up as I go down. And I think that's it. There we have it. There is Natsu from Fairy Tale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give it a like, and we'll see you again soon.